Okay, good evening. We're going to be talking slash a vault 10.11.2 installation. We've got the server and the client files. In the license directory, we have the master operator and the license key. Okay, we have the certificates, for, which we will need later for the SSL. Make sure you have it early on onto your vault server. Makes life a little easier. Okay, so then let's get on to starting what we need to do. Okay, we need to get the networking sorted out first. Okay, properties. Okay, we need to uninstall everything except for TCPIP version 4 and TCPIP version 6, which we disable. Okay, click uninstall, click yes. Click uninstall, click yes. Uninstall, click yes. Skip, uninstall, yes. Uninstall, yes. Skip, uninstall, yes. Uninstall, yes. On IPv4, we go in. And here we have our IP address of our vault. Submit mask, you will have a gateway in most environments as this is a lab and we have very few servers as you can see it's our list of servers that we're going to be working with primarily and then we do not have any dns settings at all we go to advanced a single ip address and we don't have our gateway dns we don't have anything in here we do not have going to use that we're going to disable NetBIOS over TCPIP click OK click OK close close done you can close that screen we can now go to the server installation I right, yes, prerequisites go and enter there let's get that installed I like to install these manually myself makes things a little easier agree install next Okay, let's get this going. Okay. Okay, that is done. Jump back. Okay, in that directory we have, don't need to do that one. And that's up, that's dot net, which you don't need to do as we're on Windows Server to 2016, which you can see there. So let's jump into the installation. Click Run as Administrator. Okay, let that start up. As we're going along. Okay. Okay, here we go. Let's start the installation. Next, yes. And we're going to be a company called Test in this environment. Click Next. We're going to do a standalone Vault server. We're going to put it into the, into the program files private arc directory. The safe installation is going to be private arc safe in the C drive as this is a minimal installation. Now we need the license file, which we're going to go and look for now. Okay, cancel downloads directory, get in there. No last. Okay, now we need the operator CD. Click OK, cancel downloads directory, license key, operator key. Click OK, click next. Okay, now this is our IP address of the remote machine that's going to be using it, which we're going to use the CPM, which is this is the CPM's IP address. We're going to use the password, which is going to be password four. Tabs password four. Okay, click next. Okay, as this installation starts to kick off, Okay, we're not 
going to be clicking and ticking that box. We're going to harden the machine. Hardening is going to run first. Click next. Okay, so while that digital hardening starts, we're going to talk to you a bit about the server. As you can see, we only have VMware tools installed. VMware tools is, is installed as this is running on a VM. The VMware tools are critical for making sure that the drivers are installed for the hot, for the machine to work correctly. This is running on VMware Workstation. You can use VMware Player as well as this is running. Okay, but make sure that there's no other software installed before you install the machine. VMware Tools is accepted when running this in a VM as you need to have be able to have the tools to run the VMware VM properly. Okay, let's get this going. Waiting, waiting for the hardening to finish. If the hardening doesn't succeed successfully, we retry it until it runs. Otherwise, you're not going to get the hardening that you required and safety out of that's needed for the running the vault. So hopefully this will finish shortly and we can continue. This does take a bit of time to harden the vault. There's a lot of stuff happening in the background, disabling stuff. We're talking about registry changes to firewall changes on the server and quite a few other changes. Okay, that was, it's looking good. Okay, as you can see, I saw the actual database that is actually running a MySQL database version. Okay, so MySQL is the database that's actually used in the background for the for CyberArk. It's a bit but it's a heavily modified version of MySQL. Okay, installing the Vault database then. There we go. Almost there. With the Vault installation almost complete. Come on, this does take a bit of time, but go okay, initializing the vault. Great, it's looking good. Okay, the master password that we need to put in. Okay, password we're gonna choose is password four tabs, password four tabs, password four tabs, password four. As this is a lab, quick lab, we're gonna just use the same password throughout. Not advised in a, in a production environment at all. Use your, use your recommended password policy that the company will provide you with to make sure that it's secure and safe. Okay. Finalizing the installation. It's best to use a complex password not password four, as it's a quick and easy password. Okay. 
Okay, logging to the vault. Then creating the safes, adding the owners. There we go. Looking good. Looking good. Nicely done. Click finish. Then it's going to restart. Once that is up and running, we can install the client tool. Once it starts restarting, it's hopefully it should restart quite quickly. There we go. As this is a VMware environment, the shutdown and restart is quite quick. This is not a physical server. Advantages of a VM, as you don't need as many resources as you would for a physical machine. As this is just as an example, this is running one CPU and one point four gigs of memory. Very very little for a vault. But as this is a lab and we're not running many servers, it will be fine. So we're getting there, getting this installed. We're very, very close to finishing the vault installation with the client to view the, the data that will be in the vault. Okay, there we go. Looking good. There we go. Let's log in. Send control delete. As you'll now see, there's quite a bit of change going on. Now we have to put in the full administrator and password when let's go in. It's one of the changes, it doesn't remember the name of the the user that you originally used to log on. But that's the price you pay for the security. Gonna run that, yes. There we go. It's the database up and running. Firewall changes, there we go. Demon dot two looking good, objects loaded. Okay, let's minimize that. Let's jump into the installation directory. Download, close that one in the background. Client installation, client files. Here we go. Run the setup, run as administrator. Click yes. There we go. Running the installation. This is very quick. Click next. Yes. Again, the company is called Test. Click next. See directory, private arc. There we go. Typical installation. Click next. There we go. Yes. Gonna call this test lab IP address of the server, which is 10.11. And the default user is administrator, which has been used. Click OK. Looking good. Do you want to restart? Click yes. There we go. Restarting all the services. So we're going to shut down. There we go. Okay, there we go. Looking good now. Let's start virtualization again. Full administrator tabs password one enter. Here we go. Logged in. It's gonna wait. Here we go. Let's check how the server's doing. Click yes. Go starting up. It's successfully connected to the database good. Wait, firewall, done, done, done. Nice, we're done. Private arc, find lab. Okay, password four, enter. Here we go, that's it.
all done notification engine which we should have these all template directories at currently as there's nothing in them system directory hmm, nothing in much in there nothing much in there either okay let's close these so we can close close tools administrative tools use some groups looking good we have alt admins which is the administrator operator operators dr user we have dr backup users we have backup so that's, that's all the users that we have which is looking good let's close and log off always log off okay that's it done and that's the installation of the vault 